howdy diddly dandy there, chums, to thy captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I've got a little bit of news when it comes to the good old no man's sky. So let's jump on over onto the tinterwebs and let's see what I have, shall we, people? Cool, yeah. So starting off over on a Steam Experimental branch, and they've been rolling out some patches from the Hello Game side. So this was 28th of the 10th. Fixed an issue that allowed the Boundary Herald ship to be scrapped. Yes, you can scrap it. Well, you could scrap it. You could claim the parts, like the cockpit and the wings. Then when you looked in your inventory, they weren't there. And when you went to actually build a ship, you couldn't find those parts. Now, it is an explorer when you scan it, but going into explorer, the parts did not appear there. So whether it will be in future. Also, I noticed curiously inside of the patch notes, it said the first of these saucer or disc ships. So maybe they might be bringing out more of these sort of saucer ships, and maybe they might be able to customize them. We shall see. Anyway, next up, removed erroneous error messages that could appear when collected Shetakwalia. Fixed an incorrect icon for the Outlaw System decal at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Fixed a bug which caused flying pets to behave erratically when ridden. Yeah, they would just nosedive and go back up. Nosedive, go back up. Slow as fudge, mate. Yeah, had that happen to me on the butterfly that I got on Planet One. Yeah, fixed an incorrect icon for the Bioluminescent Companion egg in the Quicksilver Synthesis com um, Companion. Fixed an issue that caused the, the, it failed to hatch. So you get the egg on this bioluminescent creature. When you go to hatch it, the egg didn't even appear. It just, it, you heard the sound, but then the, the creature vanished. So you didn't get it. But it looks like you're gonna be able to get that back. Or if you don't get it back, you can then go claim another one from the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. So a lot of people have been upset about that. So hopefully that's now fixed, I guess. Fix an issue that caused a placed portal breach in glyph posters to disappear after saving and reloading. Didn't have that one happen. I've been having some very curious issues with water though, like the water shade is not appearing on the top of the surface, and then you can just see all the underwater plants on the surface of the planet, and it looks like a whole new biome. Then you walk in it and you start floating. I've had weird stuff happen. I've had the I've had the whole station go black, so you can't see anything, and then go completely white, white out, black out. Weirdness. I've had that happen in the station. I've also had it where I get out of my starship and in third person mode I can't see my character until I actually use the jetpack. Then I can see them briefly while they jump and then they vanish again when they land. Seems to only happen when you've got the new head on or the new backpack. But I don't know which it is, but I'm seeing some right weird bugs. Fixed an issue that caused submerged and abandoned buildings to suddenly disappear. Yep, had that happen as well. Fixed an issue that prevented colours being applied to the boundary mandibles in the appearance mod modifier. Okie dokie, yep, I've had that happen too. It just stays the same colour no matter what you do with the colours. Fixed an issue where the deep water milestone would incorrectly calculate depth of depth when underwater in VR. I had a lot of people saying they had to come out of VR to actually get that to actually work. So hopefully that's fixed that then. Updated, updated engine visuals for Boundary Herald. Yeah, the trails, they stuck out the end slightly. There was a gap like that from the trails to the actual engines. Coolio, fixed a visual bud that could yeah, horror attack animation. Okay, I didn't come across that myself, but fair enough. Fixed a bug with monstrosity death animation. Don't know whether I noticed that one. Okay, so there's a lot of other little bits and bobs here, anyway. But none of them are as, you know, as bad as with some of the others further up. So there you go, people. There's a lot of fixes inbound for No A Man Sky The Cursed. Yeah, some of it still feels like the game is a little bit cursed right now. I've had the weirdest of errors happen. And on PlayStation 5, on my Halloween planet, for some reason, nobody's bases are showing up. It's, it's proper weird. Okay, next up, Sean of the Murrays has got his own PlayStation blog that he updates every now and again. And at the bottom of this um, Halloween one, if you go all the way, all the way to the bottom, it says here, our, la our last update Aquarius brought fish into No Man's Sky and proved very popular for us. 2024 continues to be one of the most popular years since launch. In the coming weeks, we have several more surprises, including a specific release to take the advantage of the incredible power of the PlayStation 5 Pro at launch. 
Now, a lot of people have interpreted interpreted this that maybe there's going to be something specific to do with the PlayStation 5 Pro launch that's going to come to all platforms. But I'm wondering whether you could also interpret that that the PlayStation 5 Pro version is coming out. So but then we also know from game files and data leaks inside of the game files that cross platform save might be on the cards. Now I'd imagine anybody that's on the PlayStation 5 base model that buys the PlayStation 5 Pro would like to move their save over if they can't already. Cloud saves might be what they're alluding to there. If, it, if anything, that's what I think it might be. The people were even doing the lines, that's what I think it might be. Cloud saves. That bomber boy over on Twitter has also got some news for us. So as this is about the reduxes, and at the moment, the timestamp is to make the reduxes start on the 7th of November. Now, normally the reduxes start either the last week of November or the first week of December, and then take us all the way into January. So seeing this kicking off straight after this expedition is unusual, but at the same time, it gives us longer to run them. But it looks like Beachhead is in there, followed by a Mega and Liquidators, and with a drift taking place somewhere between the latter two. So there we go. That could be the roster of what we're running when it comes to Reduxes. I was really hoping that console behind the Nexus Cube inside of the Anomaly, we'd be able to pick and choose which expeditions we wish to run. I hope that's in the future or in the wings to come that we can run expeditions when we like, as we like. like I mean, we're getting new players coming to join us all the time. And I'm often getting people asking questions. How, how did you get that ship? Or how did you get that? How did you get that armor set? You know, that sort of thing. And it's Quicksilver also Expedition Rewards. So it'd be nice if people could run them whenever they wish. But there we go, people. That's all the No Man's Sky news I've got for you at the moment. We're still unlocking the fireworks. The fireworks have still got a little bit of time left to go on them. There's loads of Quicksilver items to come after that that are probably going to take us all the way through the festive period and into future times. So anyway, I've got the No Man's Sky Assistant app here on my phone. If you haven't got this, this is a this is freaking awesome. If you go to Community Mission right now, you can see here we're currently on the fireworks and it's going quite slowly. We're on 76% of the blue ribbon firework. After that is the teal ribbon firework. And then after that we have... Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. After the fireworks, if I just hit next down there, we've got the Community Mission. Okay. And then after that, we've got all of these. They look like Christmassy type things, like little fir cones, petrified branches, cold cup plant. And after that, we've got a load of badges for all the different hubs. Sadly, my hub isn't amongst them. The NMSA 905, still not my deco in game. Dang it. Then after that, we've got a couple of other bits and bobs here, which looks like ornamental pond parts, which I think are going to be freaking awesome. I'd love to make my own little ornamental pond, Japanese stone garden or something. And we've got these palm fronds. So if you couple that with the ones prior, you can make yourself a nice little oasis pond, couldn't you? And then after that, we've got a couple of emblems and banners. Yeah, uh, lovely. And then we've got a sprig bush and a floating tessel lily again they go quite nice for like ornamental ponds and then we've got all these which are like blizzardy type stuff and wintry type things pretty nice and we've got a peeping fauna banner which is like on 101 which is odd to have that just on its own but there we go people that's everything coming in the quicksilver store as well that's your news roundup for no man's sky and if i do have any more news for you i'll be sure to give it so please hit that subscribe and the notification bell and all that sort of shenanigans if you've enjoyed this video share it out on social media i'm kind of hoping that we get something to do with worlds part two and the void mother or the arg part four concluded this year but with it looks like a lineup of reduxes coming straight after this expedition i don't know whether we're going to have room for that i was wondering whether there might be one more update to coincide with the playstation 5 pro launch we can still keep our fingers crossed for it if it does happen it's a bonus but i'm not going to set my expectations i kind of feel that with everything we've had this year this might be it for this year just the reduxes that take us into february we might see arg part four concluded around feb but Worlds Part 2, your guess is as good as mine. They might hold on to that until the summer. 
Uh, something that I'm thinking, thinking we're going to see happen is this December at the Game Awards, the first to second week of this, this year, the Game Awards, I think we're going to see the Light No Fire get given a little bit more depth, another trailer, and also get to understand what the game objective is and a little bit more about the gameplay, what you actually do in this verse other than build and fly mounts all over the place. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.